بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم Sadar Khan here and today we see the data class data formats of of this register all right data formats which mean the different ways how we can enter the data into a register and how can we take the data out of the register all right so that is what we discuss in this video so there are two basic methods all right the two basic methods are what data could be entered or extracted extracted either in serial or in parallel manner so these are the two uh, ways that is serial and parallel all right so let's say the previous example that we took of the four four uh, bit flip flop let's say i am drawing it over here all right this is the four bit flip flop let's say uh four bit register right so it has four flip flops let's say flip flop three flip flop two flip flop one and flip flop zero now what do you have you can do what the serial means what you provide all of them at a single time all right the green color no sorry the serial means you provide one bit at a time serial serial means you provide one bit at a time which means like this all right this is what this is the serial input all right and similarly you uh, can extract the data while extracting the data you are extracting it one bit at a time all right how is that so that is in a great detail in the next videos in the shift registers all right and this uh, serial mode is also called the temporal code all right when you are doing it in this way so the the bits they are called the temporal code and similarly you in parallel in parallel you have what parallel you you have all bits at a time which means uh, to flip flop 3 the input is provided separately to 2 separately to 1 separate and similarly if you are taking the outputs so you are taking them separately this is called what this is called special code in parallel manner this is called special code okay so for example for example i want to store the bit 1011 all right for example if you want to store 1011 so what do you have to do in serial uh, 1011 so in serial you do what this uh, least significant bit this is provided first into flip flop 3 then using the shift mode you shift it to flip flop 2 in the next bit that is this one is provided at flip flop 3 then in the next shift mode the previous one is shifted to flip flop 1 the next one to flip flop 2 and you provide this 0 at the flip flop 3 right in the next clock pulse the, the least significant bit 1 is shifted to flip flop 0 the next one to flip flop 1 the 0 to flip flop 2 and you have the most significant bit directly feed it into this flip flop number 3 that is uh, for the uh, for the serial mode all right in parallel mode you you directly you directly apply a one at the flip flop three zero at flip flop two and one and one in flip flop not and flip flop one both of them you apply them at the same time all right now if you want me to have this uh, a logical diagram let's say this is the what the clock pulse this is the clock pulse all right these are the negative edges fine this is the clock pulse now for the serial manner for the serial manner you have to provide them uh, the bit let's say um, so you provide them directly for the first clock pulse this is a one for the next edge it becomes a zero one zero and again one and one all right so this is one this is zero one and one this is in the serial mode all right 
when you are in the parallel mode, so they are provided like this, Q3, Q2, Q1 and Q0. So Q3 is 1, so this is 1, Q2 is low, Q1 is high and Q0 is high. So you have provided them individually, alright? Whereas in the serial mode you apply them at the same time. And the shifting, I've just given you an idea over here, the least significant bit is applied first. LSB is applied first. And then you do what? You do the shifting. And now this would imply that the MSB to be provided at the, the last. Alright, so this is about the data formats of the register. Now we also see the classifications of these register data formats and let's say I uh, enhance this heading and classification of registers. Now the data formats were these two. It could either be serial or it could be parallel. Alright. So now the next thing is classification, all right? So I, over here, this is enough space, all right? Classification. So let's say first I classify it on the basis of what? On the basis of input and output, all right? So let's say depending on input and output. This is the first classification. So we have one, two, three, and four types of it. And what are that? The first is serial input, serial output. That is C so. In this, what you do? What you apply the data, the input in a serial manner, and you extract the data at the output in a serial manner as well. So this is called the CSO mode of the register. All right, the next is serial input parallel output. This is called the CPO. In this you do what? You apply the input in a serial manner. That is one bit at a time. Uh, sorry, all the bits at the same time. Sorry, one bit at a time. All right, and uh, at the output, you extract them directly over here, which means all bits at the same time. All right. The next is the parallel input, serial output. This is PSO. In this, you provide the inputs all at different, all at a single time. All right, and you are getting the output at a form of a single bit through the shifting method. So this is the parallel input serial output mode. The last one is the parallel input, parallel output. This is called PPO, right? In this you do what? Now you know it. The input is provided in a parallel manner, which means all the bits at the same time. The output is extracted in a parallel manner, which again means all bits at the same time. Now depending on the application, depending on application it also has two types, depending on application, registers again have two types, the first and the second. The first is shift register, which we are going to see in a great detail, each one of these four, right, in this shift mode, shift register, this is important. And the next is storage register. So all registers are of course used for storing. That's something clear. But you can say that the parallel input parallel output is a direct storage register. This parallel input parallel output. You are just entering the data. You are just extracting the data which means you are just storing them. You are doing nothing else with it. Whereas in the others you have to do some shifting or something else at least. So this storage register, all of them may be storage registers because register is something used for storing. It's obvious from the definition of it, all right? But the shift register, we shift data from left to right, from right to left or whatever. So we are going to see this shift register in a great detail for all of the four types of registers. 
So I believe I end this video over here. This was about the data formats and the classifications. From the next video, inshallah, we begin with the serial input, serial output, CISO mode, shift register. So see you there very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.